Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing something that is very important and very dear to my heart and that I've been reminded of in the last couple days. What is that? Well, you'll have to stay tuned to find out right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Welcome back friends and those who might be joining us brand new. Uh, today is a gorgeous day out here in Michigan, Central Michigan, Zone 5B. The sun is shining brightly. The chickens are uh, wandering around as well as the cats and dogs. It's a gorgeous day. Um, I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm so thankful. My fibro is down as far as flaring today. Um, and things are really going well for me but uh, I'd like to share some things with you and uh, give you an update on uh, somebody else who isn't doing so well so I'm gonna read two things uh, for you Proverbs 20 verse 1 wine is a mocker strong drink is raging and whoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Ephesians 5 18 Not be drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the Holy Spirit. So here on YouTube uh, we tend to make a community especially those who have fall into certain niches, certain categories, and we seem to follow other YouTubers that do the same thing we do and see how they're doing it and learn some skills from them and they learn skills from us and it's just a great big community here on YouTube. Well, the other day um, it was made known that one of the fellow homesteaders in the homesteading niche of uh, YouTube um, has suffered a tragic um, accident, a tragic loss. And uh, it's very heartbreaking. And uh, I don't consider it an accident. It was a crash done purposely by a drunk driver when you get into a vehicle intoxicated and you hit somebody it's not an accident you purposely made the decision to drink and drive Heather from the needy homesteader and I'll be sure to uh, post links uh, to her videos above as well as in the description box Heather has, um, uh, or she, <laughs> Heather has a wonderful family that helps support her and uh, her YouTube and, and all that she does. Um, she's known as the Needy Homesteader on YouTube and she shares a lot of wisdom about how to uh, be a homesteader and just the various aspects that go into homesteading and just everyday life. And um, she just recently released a video. And again, I will link the videos up above about uh, where she's been because she's kind of been MIA. And it's not like her to uh, not up be uploading content on a regular basis. And uh, she released a very heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching video on where she's been. She went out to a family meal celebration of Valentine's Day. I don't remember if it was on Valentine's Day or a day prior. You'll have to watch her video for the exact information. But anyway, she went out to uh, 
out with her family for a nice meal. And then when they left to go home, they were hit head on by somebody who decided that it was wise to drink and then drive. The impact of the crash severely damaged their vehicle. And I will post some pictures here. It took the life of her husband, Matt, instantly. Uh, critically injured the two children who were in the back of the vehicle and uh, her as well. Her two children are finally back home. Well, they're staying with relatives right now after being in the hospital for some time. But she's still in the hospital. Um, and it's amazing that she's even alive. Um, she is really busted up, busted up bad. And uh, my heart just goes out to her. Um, I know other people who have had similar experiences where a drunk driver has taken away loved ones or caused serious maiming and harm because of that choice that they made to drink and then get into a vehicle and try to operate said vehicle. I've been a Christian for a while now. Um, I came to really know the Lord in about 2009, 2010, I was baptized. In one of the beliefs that our church holds strong and dear is to not bring poison into our bodies, especially things that are mind-altering substances, including alcohol. And this is one of the reasons, besides how it affects your health, your liver, and things like that, that we take such a strong stance on not consuming alcohol or mind-altering drugs. The devastation that those products can do to not only those who consume it, but those who are affected by it down the road. It's your own choice whether you want to partake in drinking alcoholic beverages or smoking marijuana just for fun or using those other street drugs out there or taking mind-altering prescription drugs. That's your choice. But I hope that you think about the impact that your choice makes on other people who don't have a choice. Um, it wasn't Matt's choice to go up against somebody who decided to drink and drive. And now his widow has to try to heal and be able to eventually take care of their young children all on her own because of somebody's choice to drink and drive. Heather needs a lot of help. She needs a lot of help. She needs prayers. She needs financial support. Um, and I'm sure people in her community that are close to her are helping her with the physical things that uh, her family needs, but this all could have been avoided if somebody decided to either A, not drink at all, or B, call a cab instead of driving. And it shouldn't have to be this way. She shouldn't have to be worrying about how to pay her medical bills, how to pay for the funeral of her husband, how her kids are going to grow and deal with PTSD and trauma from this crash. Right now they're petrified to even be in a vehicle. It angers me that 
people think it's okay to drink and drive or do drugs and drive under the influence because they don't think they're impaired. They think they're fine. Um, and it's not, it's not okay. Um, you're fooling yourself and even if you don't crash tonight or tomorrow or the next time, there's going to be a time when your actions will have disastrous consequences on somebody. And then if you live through that, you have to live with the consequences of your actions. And I don't know, I didn't hear the full details whether the driver made it through the crash or not because I couldn't listen to the video, the whole thing. But if the driver makes it through this, what they have done is now going to be on their conscience for the rest of their days. And I hope that in a way it haunts them, that they'll never want to touch another bottle of booze again or take another puff off that joint or shoot another needle full of heroin. But I also hope that they come to know forgiveness that comes from the Lord and to ask forgiveness for what they have done to the families. So if you enjoy drinking booze or smoking marijuana for fun or doing some street drugs, I would just plead with you to think again. Find some other way to get your high that's not going to physically harm you or somebody else later down the line. There's plenty of activities that can raise those endorphins naturally and give you that wonderful high that is safe and actually can be contributing to the well-being of yourself and your family instead of being something that gets in the way um, by making you some zombie that people don't want to be around. Um, I've seen people on meth. I've seen people strung out uh, after smoking too much marijuana. And I've seen people drunk. And uh, it's not fun to be around, especially if they're the angry kind of people. And I just don't understand why people feel the need to be under the influence of these, these different substances. But again, it's your choice. Whatever you put into your body is, is your choice, and that's between you and God. But if you hurt somebody, that's now between you and God and whoever you hurt. So please reconsider uh, using substances that are mind-altering altogether. If you feel you have to still use them, please don't operate a motorized vehicle or anything else that could potentially kill somebody. Think twice, save a life. And if you can, please watch uh, the Needy Homesteaders video. Subscribe to our channel. Visit the GoFundMe page that I will link to below in the description box. And if you're the praying kind of people, please pray for her and her family. They have a long road ahead. And unfortunately, that is the way it is right now. I just thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it with others. Get the word around about Heather and her needs. And maybe we can reach somebody else to help them to make that decision to not drink and drive or just to quit using those types of substances altogether. I just thank you for being a part of this journey for me and supporting me. If you haven't, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll keep creating content. Hopefully I don't have to do another one of these videos because it sucks. But um, I want to be able to support other people 
just like you guys support me. So um, hit that subscribe button if, if you'd like. Uh, share this video. And uh, it's hard to say this because it, it hurts so much right now. But um, I just hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.